It's a motherfucker when you have long hair. It just is. You go to sleep and you try to... You try to wake up and your hair's all fucking crazy. And you try to comb it and you can't get your fucking brush through your hair. You have to brush it. You can't comb it. Ain't gonna be no combing it. You got a fucking mane like a lion. You gotta want it. You gotta want that shit. If you're gonna keep it. Motherfuckers, you just cut all your hair off on top of your head. It might work for you. It might not work for me. So. I've been having these weird dreams. Same fucking dreams, though. But it's like now I'm trying to find and give this girl her paperwork. She needs to do something. And I keep having encounters with her where she's done had an abortion because she's fucking my friend. Yeah. How about that? How about that? Except they're not being secret about it. They're not being secretive about it. Like, oh, oh, well, oh, oops. I guess I'll have to pay for her abortion. Since I got your wife pregnant. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that nice? But, like, I'm still trying to get her her paperwork that she needs to do something. And... You trade one hell for another. Blessed is he who will not make hell for someone else, but leave. Blessed is he who recognizes to fucking leave hell while they can. Fighting with your own fucking family is the most goddamn retarded, stupidest shit I've ever fucking heard of. Some people will just call the cops on their own people. They'll fucking yell and argue with them about something where it's fucking stupid. It ought to be the first area where people fucking have some damn sense. You know not to punch yourself in the face. 50% of us don't know not to do that. Women will punch themselves in the face all the time. I've seen a lot of women do that. But when you can poke fun at them, you can kind of alleviate the shit. Then... I don't believe you have to be crazy. I think being actual mind lost crazy requires you to make that choice somewhere down the line. And I think you make that choice doing a fucking egotistical bullshit. Now, the difficulty I'm having today is that I go in there, it's early, and there's only one thing that makes me fucking crazy and angry. I can't handle it because I get bad headaches. It's someone slamming shit all around. Slamming shit. I go in there. And my dad's playing on his phone. Like he does during the during the normal time frames. Doing during the normal time frames of shit. And so I'm like, okay, you're on your phone. You don't you're not interested. So I'll go away. So I go into the other area. And it's like he runs behind me, gets up, and he fucking comes into the kitchen, slams all the chairs in, and then flings the fucking cabinet door open where the the food's at. And I was like, what in the fucking hell? I'm like, you could, are you hungry? Do you want me to fix you something to eat? He's in there in his own fucking trance. He's in there playing on the phone, not even paying attention to his fucking self. It's like, you're going to run up in here. He doesn't want me to cook his breakfast because he likes his breakfast cooked the way he cooks it. And he's hungry. And like, number one, he'll get mad if things are in different places. And we get different shit all the time. Shit has to move. I cook dinner every fucking night. And you got to move shit around. I'm not that OCD where I can't fucking find stuff in my own kitchen, but he can't see. 
I'm like, what are we supposed to do to find the eye doctor? You know, I called whatever number was on the list. They didn't answer. And then what else am I supposed to do? I said, all right, let me get every fucking eye doctor number in fucking Bastrop on this fucking phone. And then ask which one to call. Well, he, he didn't want to, he wants to get all the paperwork off of his bed. He brings the paperwork in, he stacks it on one side of his bed, sleeps there. When it was time to wash sheets and shit, I was like, you want to put these motherfuckers back on? No, I don't want my stuff messed with. It's been a month. It's been over a month. Now he's bitching about it. It's like, look, you stacked all this stuff right here. I'm like, I tried to ask you. I told you when you leave, I would do it. Whatever the hell. I'm like, I'm not going to fight with you. I'm not going to let you tell me it's my fault. I'm not going to push you into some fucking shit you don't want to do. But I'm going to remind you. But you don't need that crazy to me. I didn't do it. I'm not the enemy. I'm, I'm, tr I'm here to help. I get, this is my job is to help you. You know, if helping you is staying the hell out of your way some of the times, then that's what the fuck I'll do. And I'll make sure other people stay the hell away from you and leave you alone and make sure you don't fucking kill yourself falling down or doing something you can't fucking do. But he does a lot of dumb stuff he shouldn't do. But he can't fucking see and it's getting so bad. I guess he can see outside. He can move around. You can't show him anything and he can't find any of his fucking, he can't read nothing. And do shit like that. So I'm like, who the fuck do I call? It wouldn't be that hard to fix whatever he's got. The eye doctors have the technology now. It's not a, such a big deal. Glasses ain't going to do it. It's got some cataract. So what the fuck am I supposed to do? I said, all right, well, let me. You're going to put all these papers and throw them away? He's getting his papers and he's throwing them away. I said, I got these numbers. You tell me when to call them. I don't know who to call on the list of papers. Fuck the list. And we're not looking for a number if we can call numbers. I will ask these people. And then that's where we are. But I I said, you don't have to attack me. You don't have, what do you mean uh, I'm attacking you? You're attacking me. I'm like, I know I'm not. Whoa, hold on. So I'm, I'm starting to see this entry of crazy with age and it's kind of freaking me the fuck out because there's, there's nothing you can do about that. And I'm not going to be, look, I'm right and die. This is my, this is my pops. If he loses his fucking mind, he starts fucking going crazy. I'm going to help him out as much as I can to not get into some other shit. Ain't going to have him go nowhere. Ain't going to have nobody fucking with my dad. So they can off him and give him some fucked up shit. But they, they've got him living in pain. They take away his pain medicine. They give him other medicines. But, you know, they know he's in fucked up body condition. You know. And they won't. They won't let people have their. You know, if people want to fucking. Now people just, they're going to, they're just going to let you buy fentanyl. I don't know. I've never taken no fucking fentanyl. I don't want, never want to take none. Don't ever want to, I'm not going to ever take none. I can at least do that. Have I been on fucking pain pills? Fuck yeah. Hell, I was addicted to heroin. I got off of it. It's a motherfucker, but you can do it. It's a motherfucker, but you can do it. Taking pain medicine, it's nice. If you don't have it, if you can't take pain medicine, I think that's a worse situation for humanity. To have people that can't take anything that'll do anything about their pain, it's fucking cruel. If they die, if they overdose, let them fucking die and overdose. Y'all want to kill everybody anyway. Who gives a fuck? If they die and overdose, it's on them. But they, they do want that. They just want, they just want to do it and they want to... Let the border help. We'll just let all these people come in here because we'll just replace all y'all. Yeah, they're doing the replacement thing, all right. I don't know why that's such a fucking con conspiracy theory. They open the fucking border to our country and let people just run the fuck in. And nobody can do nothing about it. And then ship them around to different places. 
There's not a conspiracy in that. All the money that people have paid in with their jobs and shit like that, they don't want to pay you none of that money because they don't spend it. So they'll just have all these other people come in and give them shit. They'll just displace you. It's a displacement theory. It's really what's going on. But I don't know. Those are the troubles of the day. Now I'm going to wash my hair and fucking put on my face. You don't have many people that will help you do anything. Of all the fucking friends that say they're going to do shit, they don't fucking do shit. They can't even be a real person to their self. They'll disposably fucking change whoever they're with all the damn time. There's very few people that actually will fucking do something together. I ain't got any friends that are worth the fuck. I have one. They have a couple and they're they're all right. They do for themselves. But all the other ones, shit. One, she's so mean and vain fake that she's had a relationship with everybody for a small period of time. Anybody that's smart won't even fuck with her. They just want her to go the fuck away. I'm the only one that was trying to be like, I remember you're a real person in there. She didn't want to be a real person. She want to be a tool for the fucking matrix. She want to be some fucking golden eagle bird that'll fly and pick the prey. Because they got to use her to fucking get me lulled before they come and arrest me for child support. Fucking calling you out. You're a fucking tool. And a friend of mine, you're a fucking tool. Same fucking tool. They're just going to get old and dispose of you. When you ain't got the fucking little bit of fucking feminine wiles you have left. And then, then there's another one. She's the same fake different. The fake for the person who's going inside their self to fucking find the truth. Cause she, she knows something, but then she'll, she'll just disappear and let you down whenever you put a little pressure on there. So you want to find an ally in this world? You better already have one. <laughs>